Um, yesterday, I guess it was, received a phone call. Um, I usually don't answer them, but you know, I've been expecting calls from <clears throat> different companies, so I had to, you know, make sure. So when I answered this one, there was a pre-recorded message on there that says, "This is the Social Security Department." Uh, your social security number has been compromised. Uh, there's been fraudulent use with it. Uh, I need you to contact, um, or they gave me numbers, you know, uh, extensions. So I hit the extension to speak to an agent. And uh, there was a voice that came on the line and I could hear people in the background also talking like it was a uh, like a marketing center or something like that, sort of. Uh, so I thought, well, um, I don't know if these people are legit or not. So anyway, I uh, talked to the gentleman, and he appeared to be probably a, a Southeast Asian, maybe a, a Indian or a Malaysia, somewhere in that. You know, you can tell by their voice or accent that they were likely from that area, some kind of call center. So anyway, uh, I asked him again, I said, well, what's this pertaining to? And he says, well, your social security number has been uh, fraudulently used and you could be um, in jeopardy of several felony charges if we don't get this taken care of. And I said, felony charges? I said, oh my goodness. And he says, uh, what is your what is your name? And I said, well, my name is John Doe. And he just kind of paused for a minute. And he said, uh, well, what's the last for your social? And I said, uh, he's not your name. Yeah, anyway, I before that, I went ahead and, and uh, told him when I said John Doe, I said, that's D-O-U-G-H. You know, because I didn't want him to think it was the old... John Doe thing. So anyway, uh, he kind of paused for a minute and he said, okay, then, you know, what's the last for your social to see if it matches your name? And I said, oh, okay, yeah, it's uh, 2344. And uh, he said, just a minute. And he said, yes, that, that uh, your, in, your social security number has been compromised. Um, and I said, "Well, what do you mean compromise? Who, who, you know, what's going on? You gotta, you gotta talk to me. I don't understand. You know why? Why? You know, is there felony charges? And why? You know, I'm scared. You know, it's, it's, you know, you're using my social security number, or somebody is. I, I need to find out what's going on. So anyway, he he tried to explain a little bit, you know, and and uh, he said, now uh, I need to get you know the information on your social security and all that to make sure everything's verified. And that's when I started." Uh, laughing and I said you're full of shit <laughs> sorry about my language but I told him I said that and I said you're nothing but a scammer I said you know I'm having your number traced right now you do know that I'm law enforcement you know if you don't you're gonna know now because we're going to do an investigation on you I have your tracking I have everything I need about you you know, like that, he, he was just kind of stammering a little bit and didn't know what to say. And then he just went, um, okay. So anyway, I, I just, you know, I got on to him, you know, and told him that he was full of bull, that it's nothing but a scam. So I want you people to understand, I knew from the get-go when, you know, Social Security does not call you. The only way Social Security will ever call you is if you request and they return your call, okay? They don't make phone calls. They send everything by mail, all right? So don't get scammed on this kind of stuff. You know, it's ridiculous that these people, you know, prey on, on obviously, uh, the elderly because, you know, we're on Social Security. But then again, they could prey on anybody because they were just trying to get me to give them information, and you know? So don't. Please don't fall for a scam like that. Social Security will not be doing that. Um, they even uh, had advertised about that. I was reading up. They were saying that it's it's starting to increase right now. And uh, so don't be gullible. You know, um, don't give them any information. 
none. No driver's license, no nothing. You just tell them that you're gonna file a report on them and hang up and ask them to remove, remove you from their calling list. So they're just scammers out there. So please, everybody, please be vigilant. Don't fall for stuff like that. There's other scams out there where they call and say, oh, your grandson's in jail in some country or somewhere else. Uh, and then you'll speak to a person, you know, and that person will say, oh, grandma, this is so-and-so, you know, you gotta help me, you gotta help me, because they've already found out information about who her grandson is, you know, and they prey on people like that. So please, again, be vigilant. Don't answer your phone if you don't know who it is that's calling. You just let it go to voicemail. If it's important enough, they'll leave a voicemail. And now if you're expecting calls like I am and we get calls even with our own area code and prefix, our own phone company number, they actually purchase those numbers. And when you're thinking, oh, there's somebody local calling you, I should pick it up and see what they want. Well, then it ends up being a scammer, you know, or it could be, some politician that's, you know, uh, using those means of, of trying to spread propaganda, you know, so just please be careful, okay? That's all I ask. Don't fall for it. I knew immediately when this happened. So, y'all have a good day. I just thought I'd let you know.